This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and we're looking at a modular PC concept here from, uh, it's a gaming PC from Razer. Uh, last couple of years, they've been coming to CES with interesting, sort of out-of-the-box thinking ideas, and this time what we're looking at is sort of um, a, a base PC that you can insert different modules into to increase the functionality. Uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about how it works and what it's supposed to do? Yeah, certainly. Um, so Project Christine is our reimagining of the desktop PC as we know it. Um, Basically, the concept is you have a core tower that has all of the, the connectors and liquid cooling uh, solutions that you would need. And for in terms of graphics and CPU, you can just slot in modules. Um, so the configuration we have here, we have uh, three graphics cards, and then our CPU and, and memory, system memory, are on another uh, block. That's two SSDs in the front, um, I.O. both front and rear, uh, an audio card, uh, an LCD control module, a Blu-ray reader writer, um, and then at the very bottom we have our power supply and uh, cooling system, right? Fully liquid cooled. Um, we designed this for maximum versatility in terms of how many, like you can basically just pull and put GPUs as you need, right? So. If I was building one, for example, I wouldn't build it with a with a DVD or a, a Blu-ray drive because I don't use physical media. Uh, somebody who maybe needs only two GPUs or one GPU instead of three or four, right? Or if I needed a, another storage array, I could put one. So it really gives the end user a lot of flexibility and a lot of modularity. And and the great thing is, it's not as time-consuming or as difficult as a traditional ATX desktop PC to, to build and, and customize, you know? It takes maybe a minute to put in a module, and, you know, to if I needed to replace the CPU with the next generation one, it's not a take this CPU out, take the motherboard out, build it back from scratch, it's just take the module off, put in a new module, so, you know, maybe one minute procedure for a, you know, completely new system, right? And right, so like you know, PCs have always been modular in some ways, but it's, but it's you got these it's like it's not that simple, yeah. right? Like you know, it's you not something most people about, can do. Yeah, yeah, it's you have to worry about you know, does my will my case fit this graphics card? Will will my will the CPU? Is this the right socket? You know, is this the right pipe? It's, you have to worry about all of that stuff, and we're just taking that completely out of it. And you know, when you when you think that we've also integrated liquid cooling into it. Such that now liquid cooling is, is something that just it's extremely easy. It's a it's a two minute procedure, right? Whereas before it's a very daunting task to build a, a desktop and then liquid cool it, right? That's a whole another set of constraints. Right. Um, it's just really simplifies the process, and you really rethink the way a desktop PC is constructed. So at this point, there's uh, it's just a project. It's just a, a concept. There's no price or release date yet, right? Yes, no price or release date. Um, we're trying to gauge interest at, at CES to see if our fans would really enjoy buying this, similar to how we did Project Fiona two years ago. Uh, and then we brought it back the next year as a production version, as the Edge, uh, because our fans really loved it. And you know, so we're we're hoping to kind of gauge their reaction to to our computer. And, and I mean, looking at a system like this, I mean, you know, Razer's going to have to be responsible for putting out all of the different components because you're not going to be able to, you know, walk into any store and buy an off-the-shelf piece and stick it in here. So it's not going to be cheap, whatever it is, right? I mean, yeah. And <laughs> but that's not really the point. It's not about. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Razer has always been, you know, we've been very ambitious mm -hmm. with our products and how we build them. We build our products for us. And because we're gamers, right? So when we say, you know, we're by gamers for gamers, meaning it's like we're building stuff that we want to use, right? And and this really is kind of an extension of that. Right. If anybody else had come out with a thousand dollar tablet and said, oh, it's for gaming, people probably would have laughed at them. When Razer yeah. did it, people said, okay, that's what I wanted. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Right. So people and people are willing to pay that extra premium for exactly the system they want. And in this case, it's really exactly the system you want because, yeah, because you insert you, whatever you modules. Make it yourself, yeah. Right. And, um, yeah, it's, it's just brilliant. What, what kind of interfaces are we looking at here? Um, PCIe and power. And so, you, uh, so basically all the way up, it's the same sort of interface, and then you just slot in the module that's going to have on that side storage, on this I side. I guess PCIe is, it's kind of an oversimplification. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of proprietary work going on behind the scenes. So, you know, so... But basically it's 
each module is going to be able to interface, draw power, and... Yeah, uh, absolutely. So all of these are interchangeable. You can put them on any of the above. Right. right. And, and the cooling system, I mean, it works its way across the platforms, or does it only really need to go up and down the middle? No, it goes through. So uh, the circles that we see in the two blanks, uh, spaces that we've left, are, are valves, right? And so each uh, module has a liquid cooling, um, just a tubing built in. Um, so you can just slot it in and they're self-sealing, so when you pull it out, they, they close. Okay, so right. you don't have to worry about your graphics card overheating any more than you do yeah. your CPU. Oh, no. Yeah, and it's all, so no fans, so it's all silent, right? The only moving part of the cooling system is the impeller used to push liquid through. And uh, is, is the idea that um, you're just sort of like buy the base unit and the pieces you need, uh, would the base unit come in different sizes or would it always sort of be you know, the um, same? Or That's something we're still under exploration. Um, kind of dependent on feedback we get from fans. I think for the most part it would just be one uh, built up and then you can slot in modules in and as you need. Um, and regarding the modules, right, like this is something a standard like a form factor and, and connector standard that we could just open up to, you know, Sapphire, EVGA, or, you know, guys that make graphics cards or, or SSDs or any of the above, um, to just, like, they can build their own module, right? And there, in that case, there'd be a certification just process, right, for us, uh, like, on our side. But, you know, that's there's just a lot of possibilities that you can go through.